So if you haven't heard of the new trend as of 2019, we're basically cancelling everyone every time there's a one story without thinking about what that might cause to the people involved. It always bugged my head how no one even after Tati and James Charles understood that there are two sides to one story and then there are the ones that come to complement the first or the second side of the story. It kind of frustrates me seeing um, people jump into conclusions when there's nothing set in stone yet. You're now one wondering who's this couple of cuties we're going to annihilate today, not really, but I'm talking about the drama between the Australian teen commentary YouTuber Slazo and the artist Shay from Twitter. Both of them are content creators, one as I said on YouTube with those commentary videos and the other one makes cool drawings and amazing illustrations. They were dating and then broke afterwards about a year from 2016 to, to 2017. The drama revolved around Shay releasing a statement kinda calling Slazo out but the main major points were that she has been in a very abusive relationship with him. But I'm just gonna state one more thing, they were things at the time, just for you to remember that. I'll merge the two sides to the best I can, his side and her side, um, I've watched both, I've seen his video, and give you my actual thoughts on the whole situation along the way. So Che, at first, was concerned about Slaza being weird to people after stories she heard from people with experiences with him, to which he actually denies since he only talked to a girl named Unicorn Powers and another girl thanking her for a birthday post afterwards, both ones if I remember correctly. He joined the group chat. Uh, but that was uh, filled with memes so no harm there. She claims that he sexually and verbally abused her to which I can clearly debunk as being untrue since both were on it with unfunny and cringy as Slazo calls them DMs between them and both had a harmless tone and laughed at them. He was demanding of sexual favors and that's actually kind of true but not to the level of him being a predator and evil. It's there but less but he still regrets it anyway. Nonetheless, he never asked for a blowjob, never forced himself on her unless both were agreeing to doing it and didn't even take off her bra intentionally, which is so weird considering that she's saying it as if he's the predator and she was always the prey. Che was on this too. And what if we called her the predator and him the prey? Wouldn't people be harsh on him because a girl abused him? I don't know about you, but that's not gonna be a yes yes from me. If she says no or that she's not in the mood he gets mad at her and aggressive, the DMs show that he isn't and that they were actually close to each other than being in a wrong relationship. And I don't think that wait until I'm 16 argument is true either since it was never brought up in conversation until after the breakup in January. He basically debunked the bra and cinema stuff and said that both were wrongfully described. The bra thing wasn't, wasn't an intentionally and the cinema was her doing with DMs covering all two events. She was the one to lead his hands, his hands to touch her and he never expected a blowjob from her anyway so that's a lie. She says that he was controlling but she doesn't show any evidence of that and he also denies this which is just a he says she says at this point. He admits that he's in the wrong for not being emotionally available to her and that he was just a prick sometimes to her and apologized to her multiple times but I guess when someone wants something to do with you they'll, they'll come for you wherever you are or even underground. I genuinely hate that to be honest and I wish people were a bit forgiven at times but that's just the past now isn't it? I can only say for sure that he was indeed needy and he even apologized for it in his video admitting he was a bad boyfriend at times to her and owned up to it which I encourage and praise for. Not everyone can be brave to apologize. Also she said that this was her first relationship which is untrue because in DM she only she talked about two people, an ex-girlfriend and a boy and he even said that she was in three relationships at least two boys and a girl so that's a lie as well it's like we're playing a game of spot the difference but with lies more like spot the lie if you ask me he showed messages talking about him touching her and he was trying to comfort her there to which he admits that he wasn't good at it 
at all and it wasn't his forte but still went to ask her about it and then ended up apologizing to her about it to which she actually hid in her discord video where she scrolls um in the messages he said that her being an object for things was not never the intent and that he just didn't know how to express well what he wanted to say to her but in messages he did ask her to quit her mess for it which is kind of dumb of him asking to be honest i i don't i don't like that they actually i used to joke a lot about stuff not gonna lie if it was me i'd probably quit on the first day because of how awful the conversation of them go and flow she was talking about girls and him on her cheating on her with them and when it happened to her what did he do the guy said it was okay because she it, she had no way of doing anything against it and it wasn't her fault he actually forgave her for it and i wonder if she did the same what will happen slazo thought things were done and that it was okay to move on he did and wanted her to move at her own pace after the breakup but she wanted to bring things to the public eye i don't know why would you do why would anyone be that dumb when your partner was keeping things private between both of you oh wait people told you stories that he was actually weird to others okay people who are these people no worries about them though but they're afraid that he might do it again the funny part is that she said he didn't deny the claims what claims were they again that's right because there were no actual claims to begin with so uh your logic is flawed here che you better start getting your stuff together in your next relationship that's for sure if you thought his apology was true and that you gave him the benefit of the doubt then why didn't fix your issues in private between both of you why and then meeting after they talked and left to his hotel he didn't force her to come upstairs or up the bed or hugged her or told her to break up with her current boyfriend for him nor he said she said that in fact the tone of her voice when answering wasn't worrying and if she refused at any point he would have he wouldn't press it it would stop there he was taller than her and intimidated by his anger and height to say no which wasn't the case but moving on a foundation doesn't build you to understand things about how you're going to build your own foundation is a messed up one and i think i can understand what he's talking about even his parents weren't as open as everyone so that played a role in some way shape or form in the relationship they had i can see her in his position having to deal with her with parents like those and making the same excuses as him how will she react will she feel the same way she's feeling towards him now i mean no one wants to be put in the shoes of anyone else but at least i have a mind to think don't i it's not bad having parents strict but not to that extent parents distance and anything else or in between plays a role in life and everything around it slazo never dated afterwards and whenever this subject is brought up he 90 percent of the time denies anything happening and he even offered her his login to check but she then said no and he had to take responsibility for his actions and switch the whole premise from going public because of concerns that he's going to do it again which is kind of snaky i'll just get to the point che is so evil video is done now good fucking bye i'm only joking i need subs guys come on honestly now i felt che just backstabbed slazo was about to terminate his whole career in the process and fooled everyone around her into thinking she's a victim of abuse. I just want to give her one lovely message and congratulate her on being the next fucking clown of 2019. You can come to my house and take your next clown plaque for fucking over someone's career on YouTube, fooling everyone to basically follow your own words and for basically making my best and dear friend sound like a fucking joke to me whenever I think about her heart crushing story. You didn't want to keep it private, kept telling yourself that he's a predator talk to a lot of people around you about it and lie to them as well do you know what an allegation of sexual abuse is if not how about you ask someone who passed through it and even thought dark thoughts because of it i'd like to dub what happened between you both as teenage confusion you both didn't know what you were doing and you just guessed what the other one
wanted and went with it. Thanks for lying about the age permit as well. Being 16 would have been a good thing to say while you're in a relationship nine months after breakup. You made Slaza seem like a predator, uh, which now will haunt other girls who might want to date and even boys who just want to collab with him. Both genders fearing for themselves and reputations. He was sorry for a lot of things and will regret what he did bad and he's planning on bettering himself which I'm going to keep an eye on. You know what made me even mad at her story? Depression. Thanks for basically ruining it for those who actually went through abuse and became depressed. You just made it hell for them to come out forward and be brave about their situation and seek help. I'm not mad at depression or her being on meds but I'm annoyed by the topic being some sort of convenience to push that Slazo is abusive which is not true at all. If you are, I'm sorry that you went through it for almost 4 years but you shouldn't make it a point in your accusation when you're lying about the whole thing because you've just nailed the plate and made it fall off the table. Not to mention also that you're going to cause him depression as well and maybe he's going to be uh, diagnosed with something else, maybe who knows. But you're going to cause him a lot of pain in the process of this, these lies that you just spoke of. People also don't complain about other girls and cheating when you basically did the same to him with another guy and he forgave you for it. He forgave you for an act that can destroy a relationship but you didn't forgive him for basically being an idiot boyfriend and wanting him to suffer actions that could lead to a career ending result. That's logic right there, I, I gotta applaud for that. You both were on in rape jokes and you're the one who had the big ideas and he was just going along most of the time. The DM showed this, your size DMs and no one even noticed. It kept bugging me why uh, Shay was concerned about him dating other girls. It seemed like she doesn't want him to date anyone after her and just ruin him once and for all. I mean it's not gonna work but that's how I see it. Access to stan accounts and fans and girls who are willing to give him stuff for his attention shouldn't be a point in the whole conversation between you and him to begin with. Otherwise it'll just be you having matters and agendas against him which won't help your case even. I'm saying won't help your case like if she has a valid case anyway after making these idiotic spoiled points in her accusation and at the end you switch the questionable conversation from actually being concerned about him doing it again to actual responsibility. Does it actually make any sense at all? I mean you guys, you guys can tell me because I feel like this is just plain dumb now. People have gone saying he abused his power when nothing actually was true of that since he has a pretty small channel at that time. Veronica jumps as to basically dogpile on the whole thing when she basically was the one to say to him to come down to America and that was a two way conversation where both of them talk simultaneously. Really bugs my head how girls can act like snakes sometimes. I know girls who are really kind and gentle but you're portraying the worst picture possible of a girl. I'm sorry but I've been, I've been let down by every girl mentioned here. Also let me talk about the community now. Quite and I'm Alex na named all so, I'm Alan, you deserve that name by the way. You guys are a letdown, not understanding things correctly and following her lies, especially you Alex, showing people you haven't learned from your Tati and James mistakes, Hyojin I like you but you're an idiot, and finally King Annie, I'm just gonna let this here while I'm talking about you. I never thought you would be this dumb, I respect you for being a good friend to Che by sticking with her no matter what, but you're an actual clown right now. It might seemed to you all that I focused on her and forgot about what Slazo did. He was an idiot and a prick and deserved every other adjective towards him. Didn't listen to her at times and when she needed him to but he apologized to it and his apology seemed genuine. He wants to change and better himself. That left me no room to criticize anything he did. Not saying I wasn't since I was actually gonna talk about him but there is nothing to point out that that's been been hidden from anyone and I'm gonna address this at the end to those who actually passed and went through abuse of any kind I feel really sad and no one should really go through what you've gone through you all deserve better and I'm sorry again seek help be brave when it comes to telling your stories because we need to hear them the world needs to hear them so that they know how bad of an experience it was I love you all dearly very much I hope you all feeling good thanks to all of you watching stick to the end of the video i'm back for 
for sure and i'll be back to normal content this sunday with a gameplay video coming the week after so stay tuned for that i wish you all a lovely day subscribe for more turn on the bell tell me in the comments what you think about this whole situation from your own point of view follow me on twitter and all social media and i'll see you in the next one